Huntsville has a very small geographic downtown. Uh, if you look at other municipalities that are comparable in our population, uh, our land area of our downtown is, is very small comparatively. So one of the things that we're trying to do is expand people's vision of what downtown is for the city of Huntsville. And there are several ways we do that. We do that through improvements in the downtown core and we expand that downtown core to do improvements, for example, on Cleveland Street or in the Five Points area or even ex expansion of roads such as Meridian up towards Oakwood. A resubdivision of lots one and two, block 47, lot one. Uh, and we also do that through regulatory means. Uh, we just recently expanded our downtown zoning classification to include lands uh, of 186 additional acres. And those types of regulations allow and foster more economic development, uh, more compact and dense urban form, which you typically see within our downtown areas. It's important to have a vital center downtown because that's really the heart of the city. If you go to any city across the country, you go into their downtown and that's where you see their sense of place. That's where you know you're in a special place. So it's important to keep that heart alive so that the rest of your city can thrive. And it's all towards the goal of in quality of life, to get people into our downtown area so that, and that they want to come into our downtown area to enjoy the parks and, the, and the, the landscape and the retail activity and the restaurants. All the things that you want to come into a downtown for, we're trying to in, encourage and improve so that you have that desire to come in, spend time, and come back. After more than seven months of renovations, I'd like to welcome everybody to our new and improved Courthouse Square. We hope to encourage the use, uh, especially in sidewalk cafes. We've got some examples of people using them already for sidewalk cafes. We added some depth to help make that possible while people can still use the sidewalk so we don't have conflicts. We increased the parking for the businesses uh, along that area. We doubled the parking that was available on street around the Courthouse Square. We added additional lighting, which is going to enhance the activity and make it safer for people to use. We added street trees. The Museum of Art is a great example of a public-private partnership. The city uh, supplied some funds for the improvements, but there was a lot of money raised throughout the community to also expand the art museum so that they can have more functions and more exhibits that really can help bring more activity into the downtown area as well. Another key element of, of the art museum is the way that they're incorporating the building into the park. With this addition, they are actually opening their doors and their windows onto the park, making it feel like the park is a part of the museum and the museum is a part of the park. The Von Braun Center is going through a renovation. The, uh, the, the arena, the concert hall, and east and west halls are all being upgraded um, and kind of brought into the 21st century, if you will. And the renovations are just going to allow that to occur to increase the economic uh, activity in the downtown area, to bring in uh, conventions so that we have those funds coming into our downtown. And we have the activity of those convention goers in our downtown and kind of show off the city, show off all the improvements that we are doing, that, that we do have a vital and a, an impressive downtown area. Cleveland Street project is, is uh, being designed right now. This area is off of Meridian Street. Uh, Cleveland is the street that goes along beside the dog park and the skate park. Uh, there is commercial activity that's beginning to revitalize that area. The city recently built a parking area to accommodate the commercial activity. And now we're going to basically relocate Cleveland, shifting it to the south to create an area, a frontage, if you will, for the future businesses along that street so that they'll have an area where the pedestrians can gather, they can enjoy the atmosphere, again, of pedestrian lighting, nice sidewalks, street trees, and things of that nature. We're doing Meridian Street improvements. This street will tie into that. We'll have the Gateway Greenway on the uh, south side of the creek. So it's really tying that whole area together with parks, the dog parks, the skate parks, the passive parks, and then the retail activity, the private investment that's occurring on the northern side. Five Points is one of our historic uh, neighborhood cores. Uh, it has always been a vibrant area, but the infrastructure was somewhat lacking because it was not really geared to accommodate the vehicular traffic. 
So we did a project where we tried to improve the pedestrian access, provide appropriate activity areas for the pedestrians as well as vehicular area and parking areas so that they all work together and you didn't have that conflict between pedestrians and, and motor vehicles anymore. Phase two is going to be the intersection itself at uh, what people typically say the five points area, the, the Holmes Pratt intersection. It will include removing all the wires that are overhead that the traffic signal lights are currently on and putting in poles so that it will make it more aesthetically appealing. And it also will all, uh, make the sidewalks uh, wider, again controlling access for the vehicles along that section of homes so that it's more convenient and safe for the pedestrians to access the commercial district and it also allows the vehicles to travel efficiently.